Hi, this is Eric here, and in this tutorial we're going to be going through forensics. Now, Focus Magic is used by multiple law enforcement agencies throughout the world for recovering detail, like for example this blurred license plate number, and it's been used in murder trials and multiple court cases um, because it can recover detail. So we're going to show you two examples of photos where we recover detail and the first one we're going to work on is this one is which is to get this license plate number so the first thing we need to do for any blurred photo is work out whether it's motion blur or out of focus blur and just at a glance it looks like out of focus blur and if you look more closely you'll see some point sources which there's one there one there and if you look carefully there's also one there they're all about the same diameter which is what we'd expect and now we're gonna zoom in and measure the diameter now these point sources don't have edges that are as well defined as other point sources so the left hand edge is somewhere around there, so the middle's about there, the right hand edge is somewhere around there, middle's about there, and the distance from there to there is about 20, I've counted it before. So just remember the number 20 for the blur width, and now we're going to run Focus Magic. And it's actually detected 20, uh, auto detected. And I'm now going to move this preview window over the license plates, the first part anyway. And look at that. Uh, the, that's before, and that's after. WJ93, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's. A good example of how we can recover detail in a photo. We can set the accuracy to the highest and you'll see it's made a small improvement. Um, so that's basically focus magic to recover detail from a blurred photo. The next photo we're going to look at is a car that's speeding along and you can see the background is in focus so the camera was still but the car has got horizontal motion blur so for this one we're just going to go straight into the filter and click on the license plate and we'll just slowly increase this number and just watch the license plate up above There you go, that's gone up to 20 and XT7, sorry, XT51, blah blah. So that's that license plate recovered as well. And if you look up here, uh, you'll see it's a Nissan. If you click on, if I click the preview image, you'll see that that's the before image and it's stretched out horizontally and that's after. So that's Focus Magic recovering license plate numbers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you situations where Focus Magic can't recover detail and to do that I'm going to go back to my original image and remember how we could read it off quite well, but if we now reduce the size of the image to half, and then the blue width was 20, so now, now it'll be 10. You can't read it read the license plate nearly as well um, 
and the reason for that is because it doesn't have as many pixels to work with. The more pixels it has to work with, the better. So the higher this number is, the better. Um, really, you need a minimum of 5, but preferably between 10 and 20 to start recovering detail. Let's just go down again in size. So now we're going down to one quarter of the size. Oops, sorry. Five. Can you read the license plates? Hmm, I'd be struggling myself. W, possibly J, don't know. Um, if that's before, that's after. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So the biggest difference is obtained when the this blue width is bigger. Five, I'd say, would be the minimum. Ten is good, and twenty is the best. So, when people give us images of cars or anything where the blue width is too low, um, there's not much we can do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and hope you have fun with your images and all the best. See ya.